this is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? So one of my subscribers just sent me this link. Um, it says, Shannon Briggs, Fresa Kendall, ordered to reach deal by the WBA. Now, if you guys have been following my channel, I've been pretty much saying that uh, this was going to be the uh, probably the most possible out of all the fights that the WBA could have made for this regular title. Um, before I get to this article... Fred Kendo came out on his official Instagram account. Um, what was that? It was the weekend of the uh, December 10th when all the heavyweight fights are going on. And especially that card out there in the UK that had uh, Anthony Joshua versus Molina and Jasura and White and um, Ortiz versus David Allen. But not only was Shannon Briggs out there in the UK, so was uh, Fred Kendo. And on his official Instagram account, he even said then that he would be fighting... Um, you know who, let's go champ, let's go champ for the regular WBA title. So, um, and I did a video on it, so it seems as if it's all going to, it's going to all come together. Um, now, according to this article here, it says on Wednesday, Rizzo, who is, um, Ricardo Rizzo, who represents the company, the heavyweight factory. Um, you guys know of the heavyweight factory, that gym down there in Florida, I throw up a lot of their videos. That's the gym that you see, uh, Shannon Briggs in. When he's doing his Let's Go Champ um, videos in that gym. Um, it says on Wednesday, Rizzo received the official confirmation of the fight from George Martinez, president of the WBA's World Championships Committee, in which he invited both parties to reach an agreement to carry out this fight for the vacant heavyweight title. All right. It also goes on to say um, it is explained that both were selected because they are the highest ranked available contenders with Briggs in fourth place and Akendo in fifth. They will have no more than 30 days to negotiate the match, and the winner will have the obligation to defend the title against Russia's Alexander Yusinov, who is ranked third under the WBA. If there is no agreement between Briggs and Akendo, the WBA could call for a purse bid, which will pay 50% to each contender. But Rizzo said the negotiations are, are advanced, and he does not believe that the heavyweight factory will have any problems with organizing this fight in the United States or Jamaica, okay? Briggs is 45 years old. Um, Akendo's 43 years old. So I know a lot of fans, they're probably thinking, man, we don't want to see these these uh, old guys go after this title. But um, let me just break down why Fred Akendo's in his position. I know some of you probably know this already, but, um, but let me explain to, to you that don't know why Fred Akendo's in his position, okay? Now, Fred Kendall fought for the vacant uh, regular WBA title in July of 2014. He fought Ruzan Chigayev, okay? He lost a very close decision. I think it was a majority decision in Chigayev's favor. That title was vacated by um, Alexander Pavekin um, after he beat Andre Rarizic. He vacated the title, all right? Now, going into that fight, Fred Kendo, he did a great job of this as far as the business side of it. He had a rematch clause in his contract okay so he was preparing for the rematch against Chigayev he, he injured himself so he's been sitting out ever since that injury they uh he had to go to court with Chigayev because Chigayev wanted to go ahead and uh, def defend his title without fighting Akendo first but Akendo got hurt so they allowed uh Chigayev to go ahead and fight um Francisco Pianata and he got him out of there so then they were set to fight again and then you know Akendo was just injured was just injured and then the WBA, they started that tournament. And in that tournament, they had Chigaya fight Lucas Brown. And then the winner of that was going to fight Fred Kendo. He had a bye in the first round of the tournament because he doesn't have to fight for a shot at that title. It's in his uh, contract that he has a rematch. Um, I know what's going on, you know, three calendar years since he fought uh, Chigaya. But, you know, a contract is a contract. You know, if they sign it and it's in writing and it's legal, then, you know, you got you got to carry that out. So, <clears throat> Yes, I know it's not, you know, the a guy that a lot of you, you know, would like to see uh, by reading your comments. I see that. But, you know, legally, you know, he, he is getting the uh, shot at this regular title. Um, if some of you are confused with regular title and super title, Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko is going to be fighting for the super title of the WBA. All right. So that's why Akendo is uh, rated number five and why he's getting a shot at this uh, title. Um, 
Ortiz, if you look at the WBA rankings, Ortiz is rated number one. Again, uh, he he will he was ordered, or the the winner out of Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko is ordered to fight Luis Ortiz for the super WBA title. Number two is Vladimir Klitschko. He's fighting Joshua. Number three, Yusinov. He will be, uh, according to this article, he will be fighting the winner out of Akendo and Briggs. And then you got Briggs at number four, Akendo number five, David David Hay at number six. He's fighting Tony Bellew. David Hay is also rated number one by the WBO. Emmanuel Char is number seven. Jarrell Big Baby Miller is number eight. Trevor Bryan is number nine. Kirbat Pulev is number ten. Pulev um, is ordered to fight the winner out of Klitschko and Joshua or whoever has the IBF title. Um, so, yeah, man, uh, this is, you know, it's is, is good that it's uh, confirmed by the WBA that it will be uh, Shannon Briggs versus Frederick.